picked up a man from the street and he was eaten up alive with worms and nobody could stand near him. He was smelling so badly. I went to him to clean him and he said, why do you do this? And I said, because I love you. People don't understand why we don't have a washing machine, why we don't have fans, why we don't go to cinemas, why we don't go to parties. These are natural things, and there's nothing wrong in having them. But for us, we have chosen not to have. For us to be able to understand the poor, we must know what is poverty. No government grant, no church maintenance, no salary, no fees, no income as such. I think that the flowers and the birds, they don't do anything yet. God takes care of them. Oh my goodness, what? And He takes care of us. We are more important than the birds. Jesus came to teach us how to love. 
how to love one another, not to look at the color, not to look at nationality, not to look at the rich or poor, my brother, my sister. These are maybe sad days here in Lebanon. We need lots of love to forgive. But we need much more humility to ask for forgiveness. I want you to share the joy of loving. much we do, but how much love we put in the doing.
and it is not how much we give, but how much love we put in the giving. The reason of our existence is to satiate the thirst of Jesus for love for souls. And that was the last, so to say, human cry of Jesus on the cross. I thirst. It was not so much the thirst for water, ordinary water, but it was the thirst for your love, for my love, and for the love for one another. Jesus very clearly said, I was hungry, you gave me to eat. I was naked, you clothed me. I was homeless, you took me in. I was lonely, you consoled me. This Jesus, the distress in disguise.
His love in action for us was the crucifixion. Which will be given up for you. That's why we begin the day with Mass, this Holy Communion. That gives us the strength and the courage and the joy and the love to touch him, to love him, to serve him. Without him, we couldn't do it. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. With him, we can do all things.
young girl and a young boy, they give up their home, they give up their parents, they give up everything, and they cleave to each other, and they become one. They cleave, that word cleave, learned by heart. For we too, on the 8th of December, when you make your vows, you too cleave to Christ. And you become one, Jesus and you. Jesus said that I have chosen you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. Every day you have to say yes. Total surrender. To be where he wants you to be. If, if he puts you in the street, if everything is taken from you and suddenly you find yourself in the street, to accept to be in the street at that moment. Not, to you, not for you to put yourself in the street, but to accept to be put there. This is quite different. To accept if God wants you to be in a palace, all right, to accept. 
choose to be in the palace as long as you are not choosing to be in the palace. This is the difference. This is what makes the difference in total surrender, to accept whatever he gives and to give whatever he takes with a big smile. This is the surrender to, to God. And to accept to be cut to pieces and yet every piece to belong only to him. This is the surrender. To accept all the people that come, the, the work that you happen to do, to have today maybe you have a good meal and tomorrow maybe you have nothing. There is no water in the pump, all right? To accept. And to, to give whatever it takes. It takes your good name, it takes your, your health, it takes, yes. That's the surrender. And that is the, you are free then. Make me a channel of your peace. That where there is hatred, I may bring love. Where there is wrong, I may bring the spirit of forgiveness. Where there is doubt, I may bring faith. Where there is sadness, I may bring joy. For it is by forgetting self that one finds. It is by forgiving that one is forgiven. It is by dying.
dying, that one awakens eternal life. Thank you. 
So we want to de depend solely on divine providence that people give us until it hurts them to share in the joy of loving. All right? So you can share in the joy of loving. Very nice meeting you. God bless you. Thank you very much.